Outers Outdoors, and welcome back to another spinnerbait and a different trailer. Uh, today it's actually 60, 62 degrees out right now and uh, well I just got hooked up with uh, another uh, pound and a half bass right here. Um, something a little different about today is I'm using a trailer hook today so if you can see in there I've got the original hook and then I've got the trailer hook, which extends all the way down past your trailer so that when the fish goes to roll at it, if he does miss it, your trailer hook extends all the way down to the bottom of your trailer so that it doesn't tear the tail off your trailer. Alright, in this video I'm going to show you guys the importance of a trailer hook when using a spinner bait in the early spring or any time that the hookup conditions are not what you would want. Um, anytime that you're getting taps on the bait and you're not getting a solid hookup or anytime that you're losing these fish, uh, go ahead and get yourself a trailer hook. These trailer hooks are very useful. They extend your, your strike zone another inch, inch and a half uh, out to the end of your trailer. Uh, in this case, today it ended up paying off. I got uh, quite a few bites that seem to be at the very end of the bait maybe I was going a little too fast uh, but in any case maybe you just need to go across some cover and you want to have that trailer hook just to just to get more bait, then that's something you may want to look into uh, another thing is it would definitely increase your strength to two thirds, like most of my bites that I've gotten, I've gotten about one third of the bites um, with this trailer hook. I would say I've gotten two thirds more because it places the hook right in their mouth. Whereas if they would have swiped at it before, they would have just got the tail of my bait, and that would have that would have just tore the bait apart. So now I have a lot more hook in their mouth at the time of their striking and it gives me more more reaction time so uh, I'd say probably a pack of five would be about six bucks maybe five bucks so they're not really that expensive and they do add a lot to your bait. I was just slowly reeling it in and I felt him uh, tap 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 I stopped for a minute and that's when he just swallowed it. He uh he definitely engulfed it there. You see it's uh down in his mouth pretty good there. Like I said, it's a different one. It's a uh all black with a red head. And it's got I'll get it out here. It's got this creature crawl right here, but it's an all natural this time. For a minute, it's an all natural bait, it's a rage tail craw, and actually, it's a creature. And today, like I said, it's different conditions, so going a little faster, and it seemed to pay off. Like this one's, uh, like I said, about a pound, pound and a half. Go ahead and release it real quick. back here in a second I'll show you guys how I use it some of my bites weren't connecting with the spinnerbait so that's why I went and added this trailer hook uh, you can get trailer hooks at your local tackle bait and tackle anywhere at Walmart 
uh, just look for the hook section and look for trailer hooks or you can modify a normal hook with a piece of plastic and slip it over your normal single hook and that should hold it right on um, it does seem to work pretty good like that was a very solid hookup uh, I felt him nibbling so it would have been a very short strike zone and it, it, it got weight down in there right in his mouth right where it should be and hooked up right solid in the jaw and it didn't budge so. okay, this setup cost a dollar for the spinner bait this for a pack of these is like two dollars and 35 cents and like I said about five dollars for a pack of these so all in all you're gonna spend probably close to ten dollars on your soft plastics your if you get more than one spinner bait and a pack of these trailer hooks uh, be about ten bucks so and you can honestly probably get two packs of, of these if you go to a different brand but rage tail makes a very good uh, crawl so that's the one I went with today the one I was using before being a Berkeley uh, seemed like it got tore up a little easier then these rage tails they seem to hold together a lot better and they have a better better quality plastic if you want to know how to take a trailer hook on and off your bait um, I will show you I'll take it off here right now okay so right here you have the trailer hook and it's got these two holes here that's where you put your hook through so you take your spinner bait Okay, get your hook, take your first hole here, line it up, put your second hole, line it up, sometimes you got to press it on, and then just take it, and it should straighten right out, and that's all there is to it, you just, just add your trailer first, and then your trailer hook, and there you go. It's basically that simple.